Good morning, YouTube. I listened to a lot of people and made some changes. I moved my smoke pipe up, my exhaust pipe up, from down there to up here, which is a little bit higher than and uh, this one here I also move my exhaust pipe from burn chamber from down here to up here uh, main reason is that each time I opened the door I was getting some uh, smoke coming back from in the door so I think that by putting it up I'm gonna have left of a bag graph coming out of the door I had to raise the back end up six inches of the stove, the rocket stove. Now, oh. let's make a fire and see what happens. This cold this morning is uh, minus uh, 12 degrees or 10, uh, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. So, let's try this. Time to make a fire. Well, this is going to be mainly it more or less a wood stove so uh, with a rocket stove attached to it or a rocket stove with a wood stove attached to it so one thing I notice as soon as I make a fire is that I got no smoke coming out of around the door so it dries a lot better with the, with the pipe on top of the wood stove and naturally I get a bit of smoke on the startup. Well, let's give it a couple of minutes and uh, see how it reacts. Well, I put my uh, little gauge on the stove itself and it went way over 800 degrees still climbing so another little stove is putting out some heat I moved it to the side on the top of the rocket stove uh, about 250 degrees I'll move it right on top of the smoke pipe the exhaust pipe and see what the temperature is there well it's been 25 minutes since I started the fire oh. this is putting out a tremendous amount of heat hey I could eat a big garage with that this is the rocket stove side is temperature on the top plate is I see that over 500 degrees and not quite smokeless but pretty close but you gotta remember that I'm outside and it's pretty cool it took a long while for the stove to warm up now I believe uh, inside it would be different it would be a lot hotter I don't know if you can see that no, well pretty well smokeless now I uh, will be uh, insulating the uh, the horizontal tube and not the riser tube for now some people say that it's good some people say it don't it's not so try that on this small camera it's hard to see if uh, if you're seeing the heat waves or not but 
the changes I made made a big difference. Now this is without a, a chimney pipe. There's a little bit of smoke, not much, but mainly heat coming out. Now once everything is uh, once everything uh, works the way that I like, I'll be sealing this joint there and the top plate and I will get this part together and weld it up so that it's one big stove. Now, a lot of people talked about the singing dirty air. Well, until now I could not do anything about it, I just had to leave it there. But once everything is uh, put together and welded in place, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the secondary air, put it right through the stove, and bring it out here so that it passes through the stove so the air will heat up a lot. I put it there for now because I could not uh, bring it through the stove without uh, welding the whole thing together. So, maybe once everything is together and I have insulated that, uh, that horizontal pipe inside the rocket stove, it will eat up faster and uh, give me a more efficient burn faster. Well, with some little tweaking, I call this a success. Any comment or suggestion, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Well, it's been burning for about an hour. I just reloaded. Close the front door of the ash fan, the ash tray, the ash box, whatever you call it. Just left this here intake on in. Let the air go through that in the air intake. And It throws out a tremendous amount of heat. I'm standing five feet away. I'm outside, it's cold, and I can feel the heat very easily and smokeless. Once it's reached up temperature, it goes smokeless. And I just put a what I'm using is uh, seasoned dry wood maple. And even without a chimney, it went smokeless. Temperature on top is over 500 degrees. That's a half inch steel plate, so. And temperature at the exhaust pipe is about 250 degrees. So, I'm going to finish putting it together. and uh, install it.